Welcome to Paige's Lessons, a podcast dedicated for those who seek advice and wisdom on how to become the best versions of themselves in the most authentic way. If you identify as someone who is ambitious, goal-driven, and a badass, you've come to the right place. Self-reflection, mental health awareness, and exploring life's transitions is at the heart of our conversations because I truly believe every single day provides a lesson. I'm your host, Paige Mitchell, a board-certified life coach, motivational speaker, and mental health advocate. I can't wait to share these golden nuggets with you. I'm not going to lie. I want to record this episode because I'm just not in the best of spirits (laughs) because this is part of the raw, vulnerable um, moments of solo travel where you just kind of want to be like, fuck it. I just want to like put the tail between my legs and just run home. Um, I haven't really felt like this of like the desire to go back to the States and I've already been exploring now for like three months and I mean I need to put it in perspective that when I lived in Hawaii for six months it took three months to get acclimated to the culture the food the environment everything and then after that it actually started feeling like home And then by the time I was like, oh my God, I love this. It was time for me to leave because I was there on an internship. So anyway, I want to put in perspective, like Paige, your cushion. I think like that uphill battle is uh, three months for you of like, oh shit. I just feel like, you know, I'm in Germany and... I haven't been here that long, but I kind of had this feeling since this is like for real, for real Europe. (laughs) Yes, I was in Ireland, which was technically Europe. At least, uh, you know, Dublin was. But I mean, shit, I was in the UK and Ireland for three months. That is mainly English speaking folks. So... Of course, it's no problem that when Paige is adventurous and she just buys a one-way ticket and she just goes on an adventure, she just plugs it in her Google Maps and away she goes and no insecurities and the confidence is like something else. But yeah, it's because you're in a fucking English-speaking air, mainly area page. Like I'm just telling myself this in the third party, (laughs) the third person. Um, I'm just coaching myself at this point and you're witnessing it. That's, I mean, and I think that was a big thing because I, I kind of knew I had this inclination of like, Paige, when you get to Germany, it's going to be a little different. Like the signs of everything, Google maps, uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on. The old Bavarian letters that they're still using. Also that Germany is completely like 100% pro cash. Yes, I've been able to pay with some things by card, but like I hate having cash on me. It's just like not efficient. So I'm kind of confused, but that's all right. We're moving past that. I mainly wanted to record this to talk about my discomforts. This is the part of the podcast that I'm not feeling great. Um, I'm just not feeling comfortable. But you know what? That was like a huge fucking reason why I did this is to get out of my comfort zone. Well, I'm doing it. I'm feeling it. Um, Perfect example. I... I got really lost just like trying to take public transportation I couldn't like the app wasn't working on my phone like it wasn't accepting my credit card so then I just like did a manual ticket and then I was thinking oh maybe I could just like get by but then I was reminded that it is 60 euros if I'm caught without having a ticket so I was like no I'll just 
But then, like, I don't know what zone I'm going to. And then, like, Google Maps isn't really helping me that much. And so... And there really wasn't, like, people around for me to ask. Otherwise, like, I'm pretty I'm pretty good at, like, asking for help. But it just wasn't uh, convenient. So anyway, got on the wrong whatever. Tram, bus, train. Don't even remember at this point. And it's just, you know, when you're just feeling really lost and confused. And I'm in, literally in a foreign land. I don't know where I am. Now, I'm not, like at risk of safety like I don't feel like I'm in danger I feel like I still feel capable that I can figure it out and there is a where there's a will there's a way but I'm gonna be honest I've been like really asking God for help I've been really asking my higher power to guide me into making the next best decision whether that's okay Paige you're actually gonna walk or nope you're going to call an uber or like in terms of just how you're gonna get around and like what's the next best move or you know what you're really tired um maybe you should take a nap right now versus wanting to explore xyz like take care of yourself so i'm not really enjoying the language barrier and i get a lot of people They've all told me, all I've heard before I got here was, oh, don't worry, like, Germans are really good at English, like, it's no problem. I mean, partly true, but does that mean I want to speak English and I feel Taurus guilt? I feel ashamed that I don't know German and I sound like a fucking idiot? Um, I just know they're annoyed, So I already, I like kind of just don't even feel welcome, if that makes sense. So that part's uncomfortable and, um, but yeah, it's just, I mean, I feel, I really do feel like I'm not invading their land, but I just, I don't feel welcome. No one's been rude to me. No one's been blatantly an asshole. But just so far in my journey, here at least, it just feels like everyone sticks to their own lane, which is fine. Um, but maybe, you know, I'm, I'm still exploring Germany. I haven't been here that long, but I definitely, I just feel, I feel more alone here, which I wasn't really expecting. I was actually expecting it to feel more like the States. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just like really feeling uncomfortable with the language. The language is really big and especially trying to like get places and I'm just feeling a little lost. Like I'm trying to do this adventure right now that I'm like going on my laptop, but oh my God, it's like train after train after train and then a bus here and like, it's just, it seems like it's a lot. And then there's, like, these rules of, oh, you also have to, like, punch in your card. Don't forget to do this and that. Like, it just seems like there's a lot of steps. And this is where, in the solo travel, that I wish someone would just do it for me. (laughs) Or at least if I had, you know, if I was traveling with someone, we could, like, carry on the work weight a little bit of, like, you manage this and I'll look up this. But I, so, like, this part is exhausting. This is part of the solo travel is... If I were to sum up this episode, that is a little frustrating and just just being open and vulnerable with you, that really fucking sucks, is the when you're planning an adventure and you're not feeling confident that you're going to do it. And I even watched some YouTube videos of like, I'm trying to type like, how do you go from here to here? Or where do you recommend to do this if this is closed? And I'm like trying to listen to other YouTubers. I'm trying to get inspired because usually if I see someone else do it, that gives me the courage of I can do it too. So I'm not that discouraged, but it's still hard. It's hard to plan in a country I've never been, let alone a language that is 
I have no idea what, like, I would, I couldn't even, it's not even remotely close to English. I'm still grateful that, like, English is accepted, but it's not preferred. So, and then I have the emotional, I feel like an asshole for just even saying English to a German person, and they're just rolling their eyes at me that I don't, you know, that's, English is the only language I know. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is warranted to feel this way, but yeah, just especially just the weight of being a solo traveler and doing all of this by myself and trying to navigate it. It's um I'm tired. I'm really tired. It's 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 constant planning. Even though I'm doing my best staying 3 weeks in one country, I might be hopping to different cities, but sticking to at least one country for three weeks or so to a month has been really helpful and at least a little bit more grounding. But still, I'm still thinking about the next. I'm still like, okay, when this Airbnb is over, where is the next place? And yes, it's exciting. And I get really inspired by my bucket list um, that I created and people telling me oh check this place out like and random things I see on TikTok or Instagram you know those visuals are really helpful so that all being said it's great I'm excited but like this is this three month hump where I'm really tired I'm feeling really uncomfortable I would love for someone else to do the work for me and it is also a financial strain and there's also been some last minute emergency things I've had to pay for that were unexpected as well but that's all right because they were mandatory um but yeah so this is just part of the journey where I'm not feeling the most confident but I will persevere I will continue. I know I am capable. I have another three or so months left to go. Now that I'm in the Schengen, I only have 90 days um, to really plan Europe. And I'm sticking mainly to Western Europe. So off I go. But I definitely wanted to just be a little bit more complainy and just letting you know, like, hey, this is like the shitty parts that I'm going through at this time could always be worse. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm very grateful for my health and um, being able to do my work and things like that to pay for myself and my safety. Always a privilege. Very, those are all great, but there are some emotional things coming up for me that just don't feel that great. But Onward to the next, and I'll catch you in the next episode.